Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today I have five brand new, never seen before, at least on my channel, chicken, dump and go, crock pot, meals, dinners, recipes, whatever you want to call them. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into all of the, the deliciousness of this video. Are you guys ready for this first chicken crock pot recipe? I'm so excited for it. It is garlic butter chicken. And in the crock pot, I have two pounds of skinless, boneless chicken thighs. We have over here, let me turn the brightness down. Okay, we have garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, papri paprika, salt, pepper, chicken broth, half a stick of butter, cubed or diced, whatever, some crushed red pepper, garlic, we're gonna zest this lemon and then juice it. And that's everything. We're gonna pour everything in. We're gonna cook it on low for six to eight hours. You can do it on high for four to six. And I'll show you guys what I'm personally going to serve this with, but this is totally a perfect keto recipe if you're doing keto as well. Let's throw this all in the crock pot. Here is this chicken. Sorry, the lighting's really bad. I'm gonna show you my plate though. This is incredible. I highly recommend this recipe for sure. But this is what it looks like in the crock pot. Once it's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up, show you what I'm serving it with. And this smells incredible too, just so you know. Here is dinner. I just have some frozen green beans that I just popped in the microwave. Our chicken. And I was going to, as you see, I cooked some brown rice for my kids and I was going to use the juice from the chicken to put over the brown rice but I had this quinoa salad that I made and it was going to go bad today if I didn't eat it so I'm, I'm eating this. I will link the recipe down below. It is delicious and it has cranberries, it has cranberries, quinoa, a vinaigrette, roasted toasted pecans, what else? A diced apple, it's really, really good. So I'll link the recipe down below. But yeah, we have leftovers for tomorrow too, so I'm gonna definitely have some for lunch. And that's definitely what I'm gonna do for lunch, is use the juice for my rice. But I didn't think it would be good. Anyways, this is dinner. This is highly recommended, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I am so incredibly excited for this dump and go crock pot meal. This is crock pot Tuscan garlic chicken thighs with spinach and sun dried tomatoes. Sounds insanely delicious. So, what you're going to need is your crock pot, of course, six to eight bone in skinless chicken thighs some garlic, Italian seasoning, red pepper flakes, heavy cream, sun-dried tomatoes, either a tablespoon of butter or olive oil, one third of a cup of chicken broth, I had that left over from yesterday, so I'm using that up, and some Parmesan cheese. And you just dump it all in, in here. Now I will say, I'm gonna go ahead and make the cream sauce on the stove top. If you want to just dump this all in, you can do that. However, I want my cream sauce to be combined and come together over the stove before I pour it over the chicken thighs. But if you are in a hurry and you need to dump this all in, you can do that. I'm giving you options. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna make the cream sauce together. I'm gonna put these chicken thighs on the bottom. And you're also going to need spinach, by the way. You're gonna need two cups of chopped spinach, but that's not gonna go in until the very, very end. This is gonna cook on low for six to eight hours or on high for four to six. So let's get 
to making this cream sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna take a pot. I'm gonna take my one tablespoon of butter. Again, you can use olive oil if you want it to be more heart healthy. I just really love the taste of butter. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna turn this on medium. And then I'm going to put in a good bit of garlic. Hold on, I need a smaller, smaller spoon. I like garlic a lot, so I'm gonna put in four teaspoons of garlic. And you just kind of let the butter melt. And then you just kind of let the butter melt and the garlic cook until it becomes fragrant. This has melted perfectly and the garlic is nice and fragrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my one third of a cup of chicken broth and my one cup of heavy cream. And you just wanna let this simmer for 10 minutes. Like I said, if you don't have this time, you don't have to do this. But I do think that it's going to make the sauce combine and taste better doing it this way. So we're gonna go ahead, set a timer for 10 minutes. And while we're doing this, we're gonna go over to the crock pot and work on that over there. Okay, so I've put my, my eight, I have eight, I think I have seven actually, seven bone-in skinless chicken thighs. And we're gonna go ahead and take one, tea, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Put that over the chicken. You're gonna take one teaspoon of crushed red pepper if you don't like heat, don't add this. I actually don't like heat, but lately I've been loving the flavor that red pepper flakes add, and it does add just a little bit of heat, but not much. All right, now you're gonna season with some salt and some pepper. Season how you want it done. I think I need to, my pepper is getting a little low. Now you wanna take your sun-dried tomatoes and you're just gonna place them all over your chicken. This is the kind that I got. They are sun-dried tomatoes, julienne cut with herbs, so I did not have to chop them at all. If you don't get them chopped already, then definitely make sure you chop them. All right, then we're just gonna wait on our cream sauce. Now we are going to take three-fourths of a cup of Parmesan cheese. You do wanna add this slowly so it all combines. So I'm gonna take a fourth of a cup whisk that in until it's smooth do another fourth of a cup do the same thing do another fourth of a cup and then it'll be ready to i'm actually you know in cream sauces i'm actually going to add some nutmeg to this because nutmeg is really good in cream sauces and i always add nutmeg that's my special ingredient to my fettuccine alfredo recipe sauce so i'm going to go ahead and add some nutmeg too Perfect, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. I think this is gonna be my new Alfredo sauce. So now you wanna take your sauce and you wanna pour it over your chicken, trying to get as much of the sauce over the chicken as possible and not on the bottom of the crock pot. This looks and smells incredible, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the top on, pop the lid, it's on low. And I'll see you guys later when this is done. So this has been cooking. Oh my gosh, you guys. This smells absolutely incredible, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the chicken onto a plate. I have two cups of packed spinach that I chopped up earlier today. I'm just gonna throw in here and we're just gonna turn it up to high. And as soon as the spinach wilts, it is done. And while this is cooking, I am going to go ahead and start some pasta. Here is dinner and it is absolutely incredible. You guys, you have to, have to, have to try this recipe. It is delicious. It is going to be a family favorite for sure. And we're gonna go devour this. It is so, so, so freaking good. Tonight we are making crock pots chicken teriyaki we are so excited for this so what you're going to need is two-thirds of a cup of soy sauce three tablespoons of honey i didn't realize i was so low on my honey so i might need to add some maple syrup we will see you need some rice vinegar some ginger i shared this with you guys last crock pot video but what i personally do is i will take my ginger 
and I will freeze it because that way it'll last for a really long time. And it's super easy to grate while it's frozen too. So it's perfect. And then some brown sugar. You also are going to need one and a half pounds of chicken thighs, which I have right here. So what you wanna do is go ahead and take all of these ingredients, put it in a little container, whisk it together. You're gonna to pour it over your chicken. You're gonna cook it on low for four to six hours or on high for two to four hours, depending on how your personal crock pot cooks. And then at the end, we're also going to add some cornstarch and water mixture to thicken up the sauce, but that's not until it's all the way cooked. Okay, so chicken is done now I'm just going to take I have two tablespoons of water two tablespoons of water in here I'm going to take one tablespoon of cornstarch and we're going to combine this and we're going to go ahead and take the chicken out of the crock pot and then we're going to empty the sauce into here add the cornstarch cook over the stove while it gets bubbly for about two or so minutes until it gets nice and thick and then we'll just add the sauce back to the chicken into the crock pot. So here's dinner. We just have the chicken teriyaki on top of some brown rice. Frozen brown rice from Trader Joe's. I made some broccoli on the side and then I just topped the chicken with some sesame seeds and some chopped green onions. I'm going to chow down. This is incredible. Two thumbs up. Tonight's dump and go dinner I am so incredibly excited for. We are making chicken gyros. I've never made these before. We're gonna make our own homemade tzatziki sauce which I've done before. You want to cut corners you totally can and you can buy your own tzatziki sauce. I personally have never bought it before. I've only ever made it and I will say it is incredible. You are going to need some olive oil, red wine vinegar, garlic, an onion. I just have some frozen onion, oregano, salt, pepper. You're going to need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, one lemon, some dill, a grated up What's this called? Cucumber. I've already done that off camera. Um, then we're also going to need two cups of plain Greek yogurt. I personally like the taste of the whole milk Greek yogurt, so that's what I have here. We're going to go ahead and start dumping all of these things in. Recipe is going to be linked down below because you pretty much use all of this for both. Let's get to dumping the stuff in the crock pot. This is going to cook on low for six to eight hours or high for four to six. Okay, so we're going to start with the chicken. Here I have two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. We are going to add some, if you want to chop up an onion, you can. I just have this frozen, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. We're going to do some garlic. I always just add this thing, and I really like garlic, so I, I kind of go to town. But if you want, just do two cloves. We're going to do one teaspoon of dried oregano. We're going to do half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, three tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, the juice from half 
of a lemon, one third of a cup of water. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on our crock pot and I'm gonna set this on low and let it cook for six hours. Now we're gonna make this tzatziki sauce. I already have one cucumber finely grated. I use this because I can't find my box grater. I think I threw it away in the move, which is fine, whatever. This is very, very finely grated. But to this cucumber, make sure you get all of the water or as much water as you can out. I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna add in two cups of plain Greek yogurt. We're now gonna add two to three cloves of garlic minced. Which again, I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon. The recipe calls for a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. I don't have white wine vinegar, so I just am gonna use the red wine vinegar. It might change the color a little bit. It's no big deal, it's okay. We're gonna do one teaspoon of dried dill, one teaspoon of oregano, salt and pepper to taste, one tablespoon of olive oil, and the juice of the other half of the lemon. Now we just want to mix this. Also make sure you taste it. So you can see if you wanna add some salt or some extra seasonings. I love these flavors. And I can't wait to show you guys how the chicken turns out when it's done. And then also what I'm gonna to top my gyros, what I'm going to top them with. Our chicken is all nice and done. It is very tender, just falling apart, shredding. Has a nice juice to it. And over here, I've already started to assemble my gyro. And I have this pita bread right here. I spread some of the tzatziki sauce. By the way, this is so good. I think I'm gonna start meal prepping this. This is a really great way to get raw veggies in, to dip in bell peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes. Really good. Um, but I have this little container right here, which I will link these produce containers down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish assembling my gyro. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And that is my delicious crock pot. It is overflowing. But my delicious crock pot gyro. Chicken gyro. So I'm gonna Go tear this up. I'm gonna actually get a little more tzatziki sauce for this dressing, and I wanna taste it, because I've never had one of these before. I will see you guys tomorrow for our last chicken dump and go crock pot meal. Our last dump and go crock pot meal is going to be slow cooker garlic parmesan chicken stew. So what you're going to need is one pound of potatoes quartered, three boneless skinless chicken breasts cut into one inch pieces, which I already have here in my crock pot. And I have about two pounds there. Uh, you're gonna do celery, onion, carrots, garlic, salt, parsley, thyme, pepper, broth, heavy cream, cornstarch, Parmesan cheese. Now the heavy cream and the Parmesan cheese and the cornstarch, they don't go in until this is all cooked and then you're gonna put it on high for the last hour. So you're gonna cook this on low for four to six hours, or you can do it on high for two to four. Whenever the potatoes are soft and the chicken is cooked, then you're gonna add in your cornstarch cream and Parmesan cheese, then you're gonna cut it on high and cook for another hour. Okay, so I thought I had onion, I don't. I thought I had all this stuff, my carrots went bad, so Instead of carrots, I'm going to be, well, this is still carrots, but instead of cutting them, I'm just gonna have grated carrots. So I'm just gonna add the rest of the bag here. And I used up the rest of my onion. So minced onion it is. I also freeze, like I will get a full thing of celery and I don't use celery often. So I just cut it up whenever I do, and I throw it in the freezer. So whenever I need it, it's ready for me to go. So that's frozen celery going in. And then I don't have thyme or parsley. I do have parsley, I don't have thyme. So I will just put in some Italian seasoning. You can always, I get people hating on me 
Oh my gosh, if you don't have something, why are you even doing the recipe? It's because this is real life, y'all. Like, I'm sure this happens to you guys too, right? So I'm not perfect just because I do YouTube videos. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my salt, my garlic, add in these potatoes, and then two cups of broth, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it on low and let it cook for four hours. Okay, so this is smelling incredible. I'm gonna personally add, I think I may have added a little bit more potatoes than the recipe called for. But I am also going to add, because I want some more veggies, oopsie. I'm gonna add this bag of corn that's already been opened. And then since I want to finish this spinach, I'm gonna put this spinach in there too. But now we're gonna go ahead and add the cornstarch, heavy cream, and Parmesan cheese. So what I'm gonna do is add it in this little cup right here. Two thirds of a cup of cream, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of cornstarch. And because I'm adding in corn and the spinach, I'm just gonna go, go ahead and use this whole thing of broth, which is four cups. You don't wanna go too hard with this because you don't wanna make whipped cream, but I do wanna incorporate it a little bit. And so we're just gonna go ahead and pour it into the soup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid on it. And it's on high, so I'm going to let it cook for one hour and then I will show you what it looks like when it's done. It has been an hour and we've got us a nice, hearty, delicious soup that I'm going to put into some bowls. and top it with some more Parmesan cheese. And here's my bowl of soup. I got corn and potatoes and carrots and celery and chicken, spinach, and topped it with some Parmesan cheese. So this is incredibly delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Everything in this video was absolutely incredible and I highly recommend. All of the recipes are linked down below in the description box in the order in which you guys saw them. So it's easy access for you guys to get to. And I recommend every single one of them. The teriyaki chicken, teriyaki chicken? Teriyaki chicken was top notch. The chicken stew was amazing. The sun dried, oh my gosh. That one, that one is a keeper. The garlic lemon butter chicken was insanely delicious and the chicken heroes were delicious. However, they were definitely my least favorite out of all of the recipes in this video, but still really good. I hope that you guys enjoyed and let me know what you guys want to see. Do you guys like these specific crock pot meals where it's just chicken? Maybe next time I can do just beef and then the next time I can do just pork Next time I can do just breakfast or eggs or something. Let me know in the comments down below because I will be more than happy to do that. Love you guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.